Hello and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today we're going to be showcasing how to get your hands on a bigger secure container. Now they're not as good as they used to be with the find and raid nerfs and things like that, but they're still an invaluable asset to have. In the top left you have the beta container which is 2x3 which is 6 slots, then you have the epsilon which is 2x4 which is 8 slots, then you have the gamma in the bottom left which is 3x3 9 slots, and the kappa container which is 3x4 which is 12 slots. Now the reason you really want a bigger secure container is two reasons. One, it's helpful for carrying a lot of keys on you at once. Um, it's good if you're trying to train strength, but you can also put a lot of um, extra medical supplies in there as well. Now the way you get the beta container is by doing a trade at level 2 peacekeeper. Now the trade... Oh, Honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not really worth it. Um, it costs a lot more money, and you're probably just better off heading for the Epsilon container, which is obtainable pretty close in line with them. But if you do have your heart set on getting a beta container, and you want to find the items yourself in Raid, he has a few places that you can find the big... Um, I'm not sure what it's called. It's an AESA item and you need a couple of those and you need some circuit boards and you also need a lead x which the lead x you can find on shoreline or labs those are the two primary places places you will find the the lead x but that's one of the reasons i wouldn't advise trying to you know get the the barter for the the beta container is because it just costs so much money with the the lead x and whatnot but you can find most of the items you need on reserve with the addition being the only lead X you need is that has to be found on shoreline but it's uh, honestly the cost of getting the beta container I would rather put that money towards pushing yourself to do the Punisher series to get the Epsilon container it's just better value for money now you could purchase all of the items for the barter trade but it would come to about just shy of three million, I would think, for the amount of motherboards in these, you know, the the lead X. I think it's going to cost you quite a bit of money. Maybe it's less now the later on we are in the wipe, but the earlier you try and get this in the wipe, the more money it's going to cost. Even though it's expensive, it is still an upgrade over the base alpha container, simply because you've got those two extra slots, and that could be an extra documents case, or it can be an extra set of medication. You know, just something that's not going to take up room on your PMC. Next we have the Epsilon container, which is the second best free-to-play, um, I say free-to-play, but it's like, you know what I mean, you can acquire it in-game um, container. And that is a reward for completing the Punisher questline from Prapor. You've got to complete part 6 of it, and you must be level 21 to accept that quest. By the time you get to picking up the questline anyway, you should be around that level. Now the questline is pretty simple to do, but the a lot of it can be RNG depending on how good you are with PvP because it is heavy PvP based so the first one you've got to kill 15 scars with an AKM on shoreline I've just did a guide for this it's not a difficult quest to do I love the PvE quests personally after that you need to kill 12 scars with silenced weapons on shoreline and you need to find and raid the seven lower half masks that the scarves wear Again, it's pretty decent quest with the shoreline. I prefer the PvE quests that say a, a caliber or a certain modification rather than saying, oh, you've got to use this weapon. Then for part 3, you've got to kill 25 scarves on customs with an AK-74U. If you get the AK-74UB, you can put a PSO scope on it if you take the dust cover off, and that helps you take out scarves from a distance. I think this is one of the more difficult quests, just the sheer number of it. But then moving on to part 4, which is to kill 10 scavs on woods with 12 gauge shotguns, which is a pain. Then you've got to kill 10 PMCs on shorelines wearing a scav vest and a balaclava and find and raid 5 of them bar knives. Now this one's a pain again because PvP quests, they become a big RNG basis whether or not you're going to win the fight and whatnot. But moving on to part 5, you've got to kill 10 PMCs wearing a packer and a 6B47 and then you've got to hand over three M4s, AK-74Ns and five Makarovs. They can be bought, they don't need to be found in Raid. 
Now with part 6 you need to kill 15 PMCs with the SVD rifle which is, you know, it's a fantastic weapon so you'll not be struggling with that. And you need to find 7 USEC and Bear dog tags. This can be a pain if you don't have any saved up and you end up just killing bears or USECs. It can be a kind of a stopgap. Now for the Gamma container you need to purchase Edge of Darkness which is the most expensive edition for the game. Um, it does give you a lot other things with the, the Edge of Darkness edition but this is currently only available for AOD players and don't buy it when it's not on sale. It goes on sale four to five times a year to 20 to 25 percent off which it isn't as good of a sale as you think basically because of Escape from Tarkov's um, the people that manage their sales, the Exola company it, the, the transaction cost, it just makes it so the 25% off means you're getting the base value of what it lists on the the um, the actual website which I really wish they would change because there is nothing worse than clicking buy now on one of their expand, uh, you know one of their copies and it's like oh yeah you've got to pay an extra 20-30% because of transaction fees it's like really now the next container is the Kappa container which is the biggest container in the game and it is completely rewarded in game there's no purchase necessary which I think is good it's it should be that way the best container in the game should be found in raid and it should be rewarded for a progression in game not someone just another wallet now you need to complete every quest in the game except the ones listed on screen now to have access to the collector quest which is offered by the fence now as the updates go on certain quests will be added these are just primarily new quests that were added recently before the wipe what tends to happen is when the wipe happens they add more quests you know the new quests into the requirement for unlocking the fence quest and it's it's a pain to do this quest but it is a good good reward right what you need to do is find the following items in raid and they all have to be found in raid pretty much all the streamer items so anything like the mustache, the antique book, um, the 1G phone, the mayonnaise, the gun oil, all of these items need to be found in raid. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a more in-depth guide on where to find these items. So people who are struggling can just go out to that guide and look at the exact um, place that you need to find certain things. Like the gun oil I primarily find in caches. I find a load of them in the caches. Um, just things like that. If you'd be interested in that, let me know down below in the comments if you're struggling to find some of, some of these items. Because some of them spawn, like, ridiculously in certain areas. For example, Deadly Slob's Beard Oil. That spawns fantastically in Interchange, in the power station, you know where you switch on the power? That's where you can find that. So, again, let me know down below in the comments if you'd like a guide covering these items in particular. But if you're just starting out or you want to keep this in mind for next wipe, if you find any of these items, hold on to them. Don't just sell them for the money because even if you don't think you're going for Kappa, you might end up enjoying Escape from Tarkov enough to progress to that sort of um, long-term goal. So just keep that in mind. And that's going to be pretty much it for this video as far as the guide's concerned. I just want to talk a little bit about the channel and whatnot because we're... Go closing in on 800 subscribers which is something i never thought would really get to so i just wanted to thank each and every one of you that has subscribed and have liked the um the content i put out here you know i, I don't like to do the you know the normal um youtuber thing where you know the beg at the end of the videos or like share and subscribe that sort of thing personally i'm of the opinion if i'm doing a good enough job you'll want to do that anyway you know what i mean when i'm finished the video I won't have to say it because you'll be like, oh yeah, I've enjoyed this video, I'll do it myself, you know what I mean? So I don't try and throw that and talk about that every second of every video. I think it's a really cheap thing to do, in my opinion. I know it's like the thing to do because you're you, you reminding people and it does help, but I don't like to do it. That's just my personal opinion, you know, when I watch, when I watch videos and that's all people are talking about, and you, you, you open up a video and you get a five minute intro of, here's my sponsor. And thank you to the patron the patreon and that sort of thing i just kind of tune out you know you try and find the the timestamp of where the video actually starts so that's what i try to avoid you know what i mean i don't want to be that type of content creator but i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope this video helps you get a bigger secure container in escape from tarkov it is a goal that you should have in mind because it does help you in the middle of the raid 
it helps you prepare the raid and it helps you make a little bit more money as well. So I hope you've had a good day and I'll see you next time.